so windy I feel like I'm gonna blow away but it's our garbage and recycling day so gotta get that out it's taking my breath away and then I'm gonna do some chores in this wind and then um, I don't know what I have planned for the rest of the day Pumpkins, aren't we? We are. This is Midnight. She's one of our pure Berkshire sows. When I was done bedding down the huts, I noticed that there was four dead chickens laying around the coop, um, which means that we had a predator attack. Um, so we lost four hens. My first mission for today is to go check on. Um, my ducks and my chickens. We've had a few predator attacks um, in the last 24 hours so I just want to make sure that everybody is where they're supposed to be and everybody is safe. Um, when I went to lock up my mobile coop last night, which honestly I don't do because I've never had the need to, um, I had only eight to ten chickens left in there. There was three half-eaten ones. Um, and there used to be at least 25 or 30 chickens in that pen. So that's a little alarming. So I'm just gonna go take a look and see if any are maybe just like free ranging or something. Um, they could have been perched in trees. And hope that that doesn't mean that all my chickens are gone. All right, well, we've got a rooster and a hen out here. 
looks like somebody might have been perched underneath the coop. There's another big pile of feathers there. God, so it came back again. That's just so crazy to me. Those ladies and gents are safe in there. And I'm just gonna go have a look here by the pig paddock and see if any are over there. Okay, we've got a couple ladies that jumped down from the trees and that came out of this coop, or this, uh, not a coop, what is that called? The <laughs> shifty. Okay, that's good. Look at all those ladies there. So that's maybe another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another nine. It's that lady there. I'm gonna try to catch these this morning and get them secured and locked up. Friends, I am just taking some scraps out for the chickens. Um, we feed our chickens everything. So everything that we don't eat, aside from chicken, because I don't want my chickens eating chicken. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing that right now. I've got a couple of cat friends that like to come for a snack. So they're out here too. So now that we had a coyote attack, I'm just out here. See, we got a fresh dumping of snow. I just want to see if there's any tracks, like did they keep coming back? There's some tracks here. I do seem to go straight for the field. I can't really see the actual marking of the foot. Um, that could be one though. It comes right from the chicken coop to out here. are a lot smaller so I'm thinking maybe a cat or a young pup. Yeah this might be one. So we just had to go to the um, back of the property by our bush to check on our beehives and make sure that those strong winds didn't knock them over. Um, we saw like thousands and thousands of coyote tracks. Even like on they the are way thick here. even on the way here there was some they're very very thick so I'm glad we're moving the chicken coop today um, or we definitely lose more chickens so right here you can see this is the coyote mark of it heading to the farm Mom, I need you, can, you can really really see the pads the print of it all yeah it goes Three. all the way. They seem to come up in like singles. I haven't seen yet like a set of tracks that were more than one dog. Oh, look at this one. That's a good one right there. My friend and I are waiting and following the coop. Then I gotta get the skids here and go try to catch the rest of them. 